This video explains how to combine pandas data frames vertically and horizontally in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to combine two pandas data frames horizontally. And for that, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create two example data frames. So the first example data frame is created in the second code box, and this data frame is called data1a. And as you can see below the code box, this data frame contains an ID column and three numeric columns called x1, x2, and x3. And then we have to create a second example data frame. In this case, I'm calling this data frame data2a, and I'm also printing this data frame below the code box. And then you can see that this data frame contains also an ID column and the two other columns y1 and y2. Now, if we want to combine these two data sets based on the ID column, then we can use the merge function, as you can see in the next code box. And in the merge function, we need to specify the names of our two data sets. So in this case, our two data sets are called data 1a and data 2a. And then we need to specify the column based on which we want to combine our data sets. In this case, I'm using the ID column to combine our two data sets. And then I also want to keep all the rows in our two input data sets. And for that reason, I'm using an outer join. And I'm storing the output of the merge function in a new data object that I'm calling data horizontal. So after running these lines of code, you can see below the code box that we have created a new data frame. This data frame contains an ID column as our two input data frames. And then it contains all the columns of our two input data frames. So the columns x1, x2, and x3 from the first data frame, as well as the columns y1 and y2 from the second data frame. You can also see that some of the values in our combined data frame have been set to NAN. And this is because some of the IDs were only existing in one of the data frames. So in this first example, I have explained how to combine two data frames horizontally. However, it's also possible to combine two data frames vertically. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial, starting in the fifth code box. So once again, we need to create two example data frames. And we can do that, as you can see, in the fifth and in the sixth code boxes. So in the fifth code box, I'm creating a data frame called data1b. And as you can see, this data frame contains five rows and the columns x1, x2, and x3. And then in the sixth code box, I'm creating another data frame called data2b. And this data frame contains seven rows and also three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now, if we want to combine these two data sets vertically, we can use the concat function. Within this function, we need to specify a list of all the data sets that we want to combine. So in this case, the data sets data 1b and data 2b. Then I'm also specifying the ignore index argument to be equal to true, because I want to reset the index of our combined data frame. And I'm specifying the sort argument to be equal to false, because I want to keep the row ordering of our input data frames. And then I'm printing the output of this in a new data set below the code box that is called data vertical. And as you can see, this new data set contains all the values of our two input data frames. And these values have been concatenated vertically. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. 
Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.